All right, Shalom, Shalom. It's Brother Yatazadak here with Israel. I'd like to start off by giving the honor and glory to Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Bukha Kodash, Double Honor Studios and Apostles of Great Mel Stone. Right, today we're going to go into a quick lesson. Right, going to touch on recently uh, this altercation that uh, IUIC and uh, Sakari recently had. Right, they made contact. Right, uh, in the midst of their uh, camps, keeping camp next to each other, right? <clears throat> so through the spirit of Yahweh, Hashem El Shai, right? Lord willing, you're edified. Let's check out some videos, right? Salakia. Like right, because like you're going to find out in these latter days. So like the Lord is um setting up these five oh one three C three camps, right, for a for a downfall, right? Three saw Edom, right? Starting with uh, uh I believe I'm speaking as a man, uh IUIC, right? Because these are the uh, modern day Pharisees, right? Uh these are the men, right, the leaders commit adultery, they return back to their positions. Right, you got men exalting themselves, delighting uh um in the uh in the length of their garments and the like the scriptures say, right, to be seen of men, right? That is their main uh repose, right? Uh Salakia. Yeah. <clears throat> right, so let's get that word uh repose, right? It's going to be a short video, right? <clears throat> Slack here. Pose. Definition. A state of rest, sleep, or tranquility, right? So the main rest is not what? The volume of the book, right? Their repose is what? Uh, their gimmicks, right? That is their rest, right? They're not laboring, right? Making the call in the, in the election sure, right? Instead, they're fighting for spots, right? And originally, from what I know, that spot was uh, ISUPK's, but IUIC, they, um, well, I'll let you judge for yourself, right? Let's look at the video. <clears throat> so, like I said, these camps are set and are being set up. Uh, to uh, forward the famine of the word, right? Whether you have uh, agents within these camps or just in general, you have certain particular men that have to uh, take part in um, in these type of, uh, right, um, um, operations, uh, which are uh, psyops, right? These are to uh, deceive if even the very elect, right? So let's see. So we got the word psyop, which just means um, psychological operations, right? Psyop definition. So psyop definition is uh, psychological warfare, right? Without further ado, <clears throat> see if I can just pull it up through the comments. Cause I even um did a little commenting on it. Pastor Tahar sided with IUIC, right? But judging from the video, right um. Apparently, IUIC, one of their members, reached for one of the chairs of the other camp to move it, right? So that's, the, so the, I believe they were the instigators, but really they, they, one of them, if you really believe in the scriptures, you, one of those camps, 
they practice what they're preaching, they they would have they would have moved to another area, whether they were right or wrong, right? Because there's there's plenty of places to get the word out, right? It doesn't have to be in one one particular corner, right? Um. So where is that? Here's a video in question. Well, this is another video. So it says. Let's look at the comment section. IUIC. So like I got the brass in their pockets. Right. And basically these, you know, these 501c3 camps, right? They're they're basically the feds. Right? It's no question, right? Bishop Nathaniel used to be a detective, right? When they went to the Barclays, they had police escorts, everything. Right? So it says, this, this is what I commented. So I said, don't be deceived, brother. I'm sure they're both in on it. Somewhere in the midst of those two camps is agents working for the government or someone is pulling strings from somewhere on both sides. I'm sure on behalf of Esau Edom. Right? So it said, he said, Kwarabi uh, Asha'ala, 144 Ba, the situation has multiple scenarios. And both have Since both have 501c3 contacts, they... Thought they never slipped my that thought never slipped my mind that this is a way to demonize us as a whole, right? <clears throat> so I re I replied, Khan, peep the situation and Pastor Har's reaction. He knows something is fishy, but let's watch, brother. Which let's watch, brother, and see where this goes, right? So our job is not to jump to conclusions, but we can speculate. Right, but right, we got to keep an eye on the situation, right? Because this, this could be a way for Esau Edom to to ban camps, right? Maybe come up with a, a particular unrighteous decree, right? I commented on another um, video. Let's see, it's like it. Actually, that's the same video. I clicked out of it. Figured I um, make a video while the uh, while the while the iron's hot, right? So I replied to the maker of the video, uh, Shopper of the Twelve. I'm convinced these five one C three camps will kick off the famine of the word, or at least give Esau Edom. The reason to push a law to ban camps. He says, I feel the same way incidents like this will be used. So I said, Khan, 501c3 equals fed camps. They're on their, they're in on the agenda where they have to partake at least, whether willingly or unwillingly. Again, the masses of those camp members, they're not aware, right? Just like particular Ponzi schemes, right? And these are um, illuminated orders, right? You have basic members, you have... You have the, the majority, which are not, um, right, they're just, they're just, uh, um, they're not, they're not uh, high, high up enough in that membership to know, right, uh, the end deaths, right, but they're still part of that particular so-called secret society, right, um, not that these camps are secret societies, don't get it wrong, right? The Lord raised up these camps, right? IUIC, ISUPK, Sakari, right? Scriptures say, if I had deceived a man, if, if a prophet have, have a uh, false prophet have has arisen in your midst, even I have deceived him. Those that follow him will be destroyed. I believe that's Ezekiel 14, right? So let's look at the video in question. Let's 
look at it through it. Full screen. And as you can see, they're using uh, police tactics, right? When they're uh, bug, um, right? They're they're uh, bundling up against them, and um, right, they're holding them down a particular way. Right, so right, the Lord this could go many ways, right? The Lord can put in spirit on these ISUPK brothers to uh uh sue IUIC. Right? And uh you, you you never know how this how this can go, right? So our job as watchmen is to uh watch and see right what is the outcome of these uh particular plots that are being amassed amongst Israel, right? Those that are following this truth. Right now, let's keep watching. So, you see, that guy's kind of smiling, like you know, it's convenient, right? That, right, um, just like when you see right particular right videos on social media. Right, you notice during these moments, these particular moments, right, there's always conveniently a camera person there, right? And uh, so let's let's keep on watching. We'll look at the other video. <clears throat> So you see, that's what it's going to come down to, right? Far false flags, right? So this is what happened. Let's see if we can put it in slow motion. So you see that brother from IUIC is grabbing their chair, right? He's grabbing that chair. And then the brother in the red comes up and pushes him, right? That's where the scuffle starts. First person to uh, swing is this brother right here from ICPK, right? Could be an agent, right? Or whatever the case may be. There may be agents on both sides, right? There may be cops, right? Right, so that's basically it for that, right? Let's look at um another video. It's like yeah. Which I originally saw it. Let's see if I can just go to the library. 
history watch videos no it's here somewhere GMS uh, rebuked the tempter I believe that's the video I was watching all right No, here it is. And you see, IUIC was instigating as well, right? Because they got their, it looks like their equipment pointed at ISUPK, right? So it looks like they had maybe a loudspeaker. All right, so this is all, this is folly, right? You claim, right, to be a man of the Lord, to know the scriptures, you know, if you stay, right? That you're dead wrong, right? In this situation, right? Because there's there's plenty of places to bring out the word, right? But it's pride that fuels that that pushes these men to do these things, right? So they have a speaker. Their speaker's right there. IUIC got theirs pointed towards them. I believe that's talking about one of the ex-IUIC members who left the camp, left left the camp and um, got with a tranny. Right. So these camps are, they just, they have controversy, right? They're not right, right? Yeah, our elders and apostles, Great Millstone, we have, right, our particular share of, uh, but not like these other camps, right? This, the, the, the um, controversy surrounding Great Millstone is the so-called grape doctrine, right? Which we don't claim that, we don't claim that these things should be done. We're just going over ancient uh, customs, right? We, we never say it is okay to do that, right? In America, Babylon, and Great, right? Because these are ancient customs, right? Merely go over what is written in the uh, uh, Levitical law, in the law of Moses, right? Um, so let's keep on watching, right?
Right, so it looks like they were packing up and looks like they were packing up and leaving. That looks a bit premeditated because the brother here knew he could have brought that speaker back, right? It's, of course it has wheels, right? Instead he made it seem like he had to prop it down and reach onto that chair, right? Uh, it's kind of it's just a fishy situation all over. All right, so this this is a bad look for uh for for the camps, right? These are men of the Lord, because if they believed in what they read out the scriptures, then right, this wouldn't even happen, right? Right, so there you have it, right? Anyway, right, so the scriptures say that man will wax worse and worse, deceived and being deceived. But with that, right, Lord will you ratified. Give no honor and glory to Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Kakwadash, right? And uh, just keep your eyes open, right? Kwame Asha Allah, Ababa Ball, Shalom.